Welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In the previous video we added these bows that we can now equip and we can do this uh, shooting animation which is replicated throughout the server and in this video we are going to shoot the actual arrows. So let's begin. The first thing what I'm going to do is create pickups. So I'm going to go to the inventory system pickups folder and I'm going to duplicate my pickup axe first. So I'm going to call this pickups pickup arrow. And inside of here I'm going to change the static mesh component from the axe to the arrow. And this is a little bit big arrow for my scaling so I'm going to change this to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So this gives it a bit nicer um, scaling. And also in the item data we need to change these. So this is going to be an arrow. This can be shot with a bow. This will be an ammo type. It's going to be stackable. Scaling was 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Icon, I don't have an icon for this. So empty icon and the static mesh is the arrow and well let's change the color a bit as well there we go so that's that for this component and I will have another component for this um, so uh, let me explain in the game we have two types of objects we have objects who have simulated physics these ones which fall down and we have static uh, um, not static but uh, items without physics which just stand here and do not move so so we technically could create an arrow that would get stuck in these items but that would take uh, quite a lot of videos so to shorten this whole thing up what I'm gonna do is for these items we are going to have a pickup with physics so we will hit this item and the arrow will fall on the ground and we will be able to pick it up but for these uh, items without the physics we are going to have arrows getting stuck in the object and just uh, hang in the air basically. So we have one arrow which is going to fall on the ground with the physics and I'm going to duplicate this arrow and I'm going to rename this to shot arrow. So this one will not have physics so I'm going to open this up and the only thing that we need to do here this is the same um, same actor basically but for this shot arrow I'm going to disable the physics. And there we go so compile and save and now we need to create the projectile which is going to fly and I'm gonna do this in the third person blueprint folder next to my third person character template and I'm going to add a new blueprint, blueprint class of a static mesh actor type and I'm gonna call this arrow projectile and inside of here again the static mesh component of course needs to be the arrow. Let's change the scaling down to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. There we go. Let's make this movable. Let's simulate physics on this. And also what we need to do we need to generate hit events. So in the collisions tab check this because we do need this. So now I can compile and save this and in the arrow projectile self we need to replicate the movement and replicate the component itself since uh, of course this is a multiplayer game and now we need to add a component and this component needs to be the projectile movement component and this component basically does all the work for us to make this arrow fly in a direction in the direction in which we are spawning it. So what I'm gonna do here in the projectile initial speed I'm going to change this to 500 and also I'm gonna scroll down till the velocity and I'm gonna change the velocity to 500 as well. So that's going to be it for this for now. A pretty basic uh, setup right now. So now let's uh, shoot this arrow. So I'm going to open up my third person character and uh, don't close the arrow projectile because we are going to do some coding over here as well. But in the third person character I'm aiming with my mouse left button and I'm going to shoot the arrow with my mouse uh, right button. So here before we are picking up the items I'm going to do a if branch check 
and the falls can continue with picking up items and the condition needs to be is shooting arrow so we are checking whether we are shooting an arrow and if we are shooting an arrow what we need to do is we need to spawn the projectile but to make this uh, replicate throughout the server I'm going to add a custom event so let's add a custom event and I'm going to call this shoot arrow and this event needs to be ran on server and this needs an input of a transform so let's select the transform type and from over here what we're going to do is spawn actor from class use the spawn transform from the transform and the class is our arrow projectile there we go and now we need to create a transform so that we could launch this and what I'm gonna do is go to the view of port and I'm going to add a new component and this is going to be an arrow component which I'm gonna call arrow shoot location and um, if we would look in the this view of port for the arrow we can see that this is the zero point so we need to make sure that we have enough space uh, behind that location so I'm going to move this 50 up and I'm going to move this out like 150 so I have enough space over here for my arrow to be placed in so now I can compile this and back in the event graph so from this if branch I'm going to launch this shoot arrow event and for the transform I'm going to drag in my arrow shoot location and I'm going to get world transform and connect this to the transform like so so there we go and if we would now go in game let's pick up a bow and let's shoot an arrow and there we go we have our arrows being shot and spawned oh yeah so these are a bit <laughs> glitchy but we are going to fix this so no worries about that so the next thing what I'm going to do is back in the third person character we need a couple of more um, events and uh, the first one is going to be we are going to have a uh, we're going to get data from the location the arrow has collided with and we are going to spawn there our pickups uh, so that we would be able to pick our arrows back up again so I'm going to add a custom event and I'm going to call this spawn arrow and again this needs to be ran on server and from this one we need let's say so we definitely need a transform we also need to check if this has physics and we could also let's see yeah we could do this um, let's call this arrow and this needs to be an actor type Whoops. because we also need to destroy the arrow on the server side and this has physics needs to be a boolean type so what we can do now is from this arrow first we will check if this arrow is valid if it still exists in the game and if it still does exist in the game then we are going to destroy this actor like so from there we're going to do a if branch check to see if this actor has physics and if this actor has physics then we are going to spawn actor from class and the class needs to be our pickup arrow pickup arrow and of course the transform goes over here let's make a reroute real quick right about here and we need another spawn actor from class from the false and this needs to be our shot arrow with the same transform like so so there we go so now we are spawning the arrows depending on what we have hit and now we need to uh, launch this and give the data to our server so in the arrow projectile we selected that we generate hit events so now in the event graph we can do the event hit collision event 
and from here what we should do is so from the other component we should check if this is simulating physics and then we are going to do a if branch check to see if we are actually uh, simulating the physics and from here um, well actually let's make this a bit nicer let's drag this back and before this let's cast to third person character using the object as the get player character with index 0 like so let's move this back even more and from here from the as third person character we need to do our spawn arrow event like so and I'm going to split this transform pin and I'm going to drag this hit location in the location and also I will do a reroute around here and I will drag in my static mesh component and I need to get wor world get world rotation and rotation goes into this transform rotation like so and also so this is simulating physics so let's check this to be true and the arrow needs to be a reference to our uh, to self to this arrow so now I can copy this node over here once more and I will connect the false the location rotation the target to the third person character and this has no physics so false and the arrow needs to be a reference to ourselves well the um, self as in this uh, blueprint so I believe this should be good enough so let's see what's going to happen let's pick up the arrows not the, not the arrows but the bows and let's shoot them so we have a arrow so if we would shoot a yeah they are falling on the ground so if we would shoot a actor with physics then the arrows are falling down and they are replicating quite uh, quite nicely so let's try to hit a static mesh without the physics so yeah these arrows are getting stuck like they are supposed to and we can also pick these up so they have a small collision box since they are pretty tiny so we should uh, actually move this physics up a bit so let's test this out if you're getting your arrows stuck inside of your character like I was getting then select your arrow component and move this forward a bit more like so so that the arrows wouldn't get stuck in the character and the arrows are getting stuck in the other character as well right now but we are going to fix it so now let's see if we have hit a actor so I'm going to go to arrow projectile and move this event hit back and from the other this is an actor reference so I'm going to cast to third person character using this as an object if we are failing the cast then we can proceed with this that we already created but if we have hit a character then we are going to destroy the arrow and uh, do some damage so in the third person character what we should do now is create another custom event so custom event mm -hmm. and this will be well let's call this pretty simple server destroy destroy me this needs to be ran on server and this needs to have a actor variable like so and from here we just need to destroy actor like so so this is going to destroy an actor um, throughout the server and what we also should do we should actually check if this is valid before we destroy it so that we wouldn't get any unnecessary errors in our console so there we go now we have a check as well 
And now we need to create a new function in our third person character and I'm going to call this do damage and this is going to be pretty simple. This needs a single input of a let's call this amount and this needs to be a float since our HP is in the float type. So I'm going to set the health and I'm going to do, drag in and get the health and I'm going to do health minus the amount is equal to the new health. So like this, pretty simple. And now back in the arrow projectile, what we can do here is if this is true, we have hit a character, then we can drag from the third person character and we can do damage. And uh, the amount, well, I'm going to set this to 10 because I, I prefer that this arrow has damage 10. And from here I will do the destroy, well I need to drag from the character, so destroy me, server destroy me. And the actor needs to be referenced to self. So there we go. Now if we compile and save this, press play, let's pick up the bows, shoot an arrow to this character and boom we are removing health from this character. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next video we could... Mm, I guess the thing that we should do is fix so that we cannot walk and also so that um, we would have a different strength depending on when we are shooting an arrow. So if we shoot it right here it would like just fall on the ground. But if we pull this hard then it should fly like really really far away and uh, also I want to um, work on the camera so that when I move the camera so that my character would move around as well. So that's going to be it for this tutorial and uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye!